Welcome back to the Bible Says What? Today I will summarize 1 John chapter 4, where John gave the Christians another warning about false prophets and gave more information about the love of God. John told the believers not to believe everything that they heard, because many deceivers were teaching many false things. John told them a simple way to know if they were on the right track. He said that every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ left heaven and has come in the flesh is from God. Every spirit that denies this is not from God, but is the spirit of Antichrist. John told the believers that they were strong. Even though they were not physically stronger than their enemies, they are very strong. John reminded them that if they were true Christians, the living God is living inside of them, and he is stronger than anything and everything. So they literally have God residing inside of their mortal bodies. The enemies of the cross are from the world, and they speak with a worldly viewpoint. All the corrupt spirits in the world listen to them. But John reminded the believers that they are from God, and whoever listens to God will listen to them. John then told the believers about God and God's love. John said, God is love, so everyone who has been born of God and knows God will love the same way he does. Whoever does not love everyone does not know God at all. John told them that he showed his love to the world by sending his one and only son into the world so that through him they may have life. The Father sent Jesus the Son to be an atoning sacrifice for their sins. And since the Father loved them so much and sacrificed so much for them, they should do the same thing for one another. John continued to try to teach the believers about God. He knew he was teaching some things that were hard to describe, but he tried to use words that would help the believers understand. He said, no human has ever seen the Father in heaven, but if the Christians love one another, God himself lives in them, and his love is made complete in them. They can know that God is inside of them, and they live inside of him if they have been given the Holy Spirit. John said he has seen and can testify personally that the Father has sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them and they live in God. And they can be confident in the day of judgment if they live like Jesus lived. Anyone who loves God must love their brother and sister. Christians love because God first loved them. And perfect love drives out fear because there is no fear in love. The most important verses in this chapter are 1 John 4, 14 and 15, which state, that we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, and he in God. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that Christians should always be watching out for false teachings and false prophets who will pollute their minds with lies if given the chance. God gave them a way to know if what they hear has the potential to be true. Anyone or anything that says Jesus Christ left heaven and came down to earth to be a man, to live a perfect life, to die a perfect death, and to raise from the dead is on the right track. Anyone who denies this fact is most likely speaking lies unless they speak a truth by accident, the same way a broken clock is correct two times a day. God wants true believers to know that He is living inside of them and that He is love. Because He is love, the Father sent His Son to die on the cross as an atonement for believers' sins. And because He is love, He expects His children to love as well. Can you say you love people the way you should? Are you a person who teaches correctly or are you a false teacher? Do you reject the statement that Jesus left heaven to live as a man, live a perfect life, die a perfect death, and raise from the dead? If so, there is still time to change your mind 
you can still escape God's wrath by hiding in Christ. Repent for your sin and turn to Jesus before it's too late. Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross to pay for your sin, and the Father who raised Jesus from the dead. God said that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and if you believe in your heart that the Father raised Jesus from the dead, you would be saved. Why don't you go ahead and do that right now? Thanks for watching the first John chapter 4 episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Subscribe if you want to keep up with these daily videos too. See you next time.